Hey guys, welcome back to Survivalheim. Today is going to be a good episode. We reached out to another YouTuber who makes our content, and they agreed to join the server. So I think we're going to have a fun way to join, to greet them on the server. In the last episode, we seen those giant chickens, and I thought they were hilarious. And I found out they are rideable. So I went ahead and collected up some seeds. I think I have enough. Now what we're going to do is we head back to that spot to see if we can find some of them. Because don't really need to do too high of a level one. It's just going to be funny to have one. And as I was reading the information about them, they are actually pretty handy. Because their mechanics for them, they work similar to an iguanodon for getting seeds. But also, when you're collecting from the like the shrubs, they will only pick up seeds. So that is a handy way to get more seeds when you need it, or to get the hotter ones like the Savar root and the long grass. So I spent a little while here trying to get some, and I didn't get very many. Even with the three times the um, gathering. So I'm hoping that we can get one. That looks like an Estiodicris. But they were right down here before. And they're just a knockout tame. So I'm hoping they are down here again. Yes, they are. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, I can't tell what level that one is. Some male. A male and a female. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Alright. We're going to put you on neutral. We're going to put you on passive for now. Now, I don't know if they're going to both can attack me. Yeah, that's a 114. Where'd the other one go? Oh. Arboraki, okay. 66 okay so let's do the 66 first just to, just to see how easy this is gonna be okay. oh the other one's running okay that's what I was worried about well it's gonna look like it's gonna take quite a bit Bull's gonna go off soon. Just in time. Okay. Let's grab our seeds from her. Okay, I think we might have enough for one. Let's hope. Okay. So let's grab some of these. I think one of those said 30 on here. Okay, so I should have enough of these to tame it. Not worried about effectiveness. Depending how handy they are, we'll try and get better ones later on. So let's hit the right button. Let's get the 114 as well. Doesn't look like I'm getting headshots. That's no good. Come on. Got a lot of topor. I don't know if I can... Oh, don't go in the water. Let's get her the water. There we go. Okay, let's try bullowing this thing again. Oh, it's got the yellow. I don't think I can. No, get get out of the water. Okay, 
Come on. Okay, we should do it. Okay. Let's give this one... The other ones. Who's that one? That's a 102. Who the heck's my raptor? Well, there we go. <clears throat> Okay, what are you at? Okay. It's at 44, but that's okay. Okay, let's see if we got enough with these ones, hopefully. Why? Is... Okay. That one and that one. And that one. Well, there we go. It's going a bit faster, actually. Hmm. There we go. Okay, now. Didn't see anything about... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. How much can it hold? 226. Not a lot. Okay. Um, actually. Let's put you on follow. Find some of these shrubs. I want to see this. Whoa! Holy moly, that was a decent amount of seeds. Wow. Okay, these things are handy. Okay. That is getting a little creepy. Alright, now we just gotta wait for the other guy. Oh, they can jump. <laughs> this is awesome. There we go. Take that off. Time to take chicken. <laughs> oh, this is great. There we go. Now all we gotta do is wait for him to come on. Sixty-six. Okay, we're gonna put you in the thing. Well, tragedy struck. On my way back to the base here. I wasn't thinking, and I turned off the recording, went too far past the base, ooh, cool, went too far past the base and ran to a pack of kernels and lost my raptor. So what I'm thinking, uh, no, I'm not trusting you, you can stay here, we're going to keep her here. But. On the way back, after I turned the recording off, of course, I did see an Iguanodon. That is a 174. First, we're going to check this. I'm a couple levels short. I'm one level short. Because I'm 34. Of course. Oh, hey, I'm almost there. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to this craft couple things okay well we're gonna go see if we can find that 174 it's not too far away thankfully and we're gonna try and get that because so I went ahead and I made the crossbow because I forgot that I had learned it so that will be handy I don't like the sound of that Where are you? Bronto? Oh, Bronto's almost dead. Hmm. Okay, is that it right there? No, it's an iguanodon.
thing is... This is the one that killed me. Hmm. Okay, that's no good. Still close to the... Come on. That Carnotaur is almost back up to full health. Doesn't even have a lot of health. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, we need some berries. First off, for the Iguanodon. 54, 174. Think of the bugs. Okay, past the bugs. Base vegetable. Okay, I don't know if can I bolo these? Oh wait. Let's knock an arrow first. There we go. Doom, doom, come on. It's gonna be close. And out. Yes. So that thing's saying 76. So let's just put. Uh, let's just give it 100 for now. There we go. Oh yeah, pretty much 76. Okay. Now let's hope nothing happens. Alright, 99.4. Should tame up any second. Lost decent amount of effectiveness, but of course I don't have kibble, so gonna lose some in the beginning here. There we go. Uh, let's throw that on, and while we were waiting on this guy, or this girl, we tamed up this one. Not the greatest. Oh. Let's equip the saddle, maybe. Okay. Let's double check. Stats, well, 600. Um, so let's... Let's just take a peek at its stats. That'd be that one. 36, 48 stam, 46 melee, cool. 30 weight. Alright. There we go. So now. Okay, now I remember it's saying that like this. Yeah, it doesn't use stamina. Like that, it does. Okay. Hmm, okay. Any other buttons? Nope. Okay. So it's done like that. And get some berries. And then this can turn them into seeds, I remember, or something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know. I gotta do it on it. Yeah. Seed, fruit, and inventory. Okay. Well, we don't really have to worry about that because we got the chickens. Now, let's do some exploring. What's up here? Hmm. Cool. Got a decent little area up here. Nothing too fancy. Alright. 
Cool. Nice statue. That looks awesome. Okay. What do we got over the edge? Oh, there's the Dinosuchus. That is so cool. Okay. Let's take a peek over yonder. Ooh. There's the other chicken, the tickle chicken. We got some obsidian right there. Cool. Oh, what do we got here? Is there anything here? Regular berries. Hmm. Interesting decor. <laughs> okay, right there. There we go. Okay, let's see what's over this way. See if we can get around there. Get leggy. There we go. That's neat. decently safe except for right there oh this is where the chickens are and some all this hmm This is cool. Is that a Trudon or whatever those things are called? Oy. Get some help for you. Yeah, Trudon. Come on, move. Cool little hut. Oh, there's a, another one here. Is there anything in any of these? No. Pinto berry. Is there a few of these? That's cool. This will be like a little, it almost will be like a little hideaway. Huh. Nothing fancy around here, though. Okay. It's up this way. More Trudons. Diplo. Dello. 
Another Iguanodon. 114 female. A Moa. Galley Mamas. Oh, hey. Novice. Did that thing despawn? Our Equus, cool. Oh, we got some gold. What was that? Oh, another Equus. Oh. Okay. Can we get something good from it? Ooh, we got a nice sickle. Cool. Might as well take that. Two forty-three. Nice. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Where are we on the map? Right there, hey. Eh? Okay. Let's keep moving along. Some more crystal. Okay, what do we got up here? Whoa. Oh, another wanted on. They're female. Need a nice decent male. Lots of monkeys. What do we got here? What's this? Oops, stuck. Holy moly leg. Why is the legging so bad for me? Can't even take these out. There we go. What is... Oh, this is the blue obelisk. I remember seeing that in... Lord of Crisis' video. Whoa, what the heck? Gotta be like perfect spot to access it. What the heck? What do we got here? Gem of the Gorilla. Gem of the Dragon. Gem of the Lost Island, Gem of the Broodmother, Dinopithecus, okay, cool, what are those ones are for? Hmm, well we got, you know, a few levels to go before we can even worry about those, plus we want to wait until the other guys get on the server and get up, up in levels too. So, let's put that, remember that on the map. Let's head up this way a little bit. Then we'll kind of head back and maybe do some planning. Mm -hmm. 174 Raptor. That is tempting. Tempting, tempting. Oh, there's a couple. level thing is kind of annoying. There they are. They both 174s? No, 120. Okay, I think we aggroed them though. So let's just keep running. So I don't feel like losing another dino today. I think we'll head back and we'll kind of do a bit more planning at this spot there for now. Well, guys, I took some time. I was doing some, just some resource gathering. And when I came back to my little hut there, we had a 
unexpected visitor, so I had to do some quick action so we wouldn't get attacked. And as you can see, I got a big gate built and some walls. When we get down in here, I'll explain what happened. So also with this, I was kind of kind of got ahead of myself and went and built an extra little hut since I realized I had already learned the dwarven stuff. So I built a just a bigger little hut here. It's a nice little thing. I got just the wooden platforms out front here for now. It's a little dark in here yet. I haven't decorated inside because I got a couple of the benches. This is the dwarven smithy. And then the AOA smithy. And then I also got this one, the light construction table. So that's one we're going to play around with next. And of course the S plus crafting station. But what happened was, is as I was coming back here to, from collecting, right down in here, where I tend to go down and get some stone and trees when these respawn, there was a 174 Rex just walking around down here. So I didn't want it to aggro and come up into here and ruin this whole area for me. So I quickly built that and of course I was watching a show when I did it and just got ahead of myself and kept on going and that is where we're at right now. But what I want to do is this adds a whole bunch of different lights to the game and there's a bunch of them. Some of them I can't do right now because I don't have the materials but I can do stuff some of these like these dynamic lanterns. I was kind of thinking I'd play around with this on camera so we can do it together I think I want to see one of these I think these would be cool to add just for the little area and then as we find kind of more the permanent base we'll kind of have an idea of what we're gonna do let's see that that is cool okay you know what I want to make one more of those I don't know exactly where to put those so let's pull for one more <clears throat> there we go and then let's equip that should be on pickup perfect now I think these would look good out here oh let's do this first and I messed that up I wonder yeah right in the corners right like that that one there. Look at that. I think that would be neat. That way we can see out front when it... Okay, it looked like it disappeared for a second. <clears throat> okay. So, gonna. I think I'll do a little bit more out here. Try and do, see if we got some cool hanging lights here. But I had to mess around a bit. I'm gonna have to... Kind of put in a ticket for some reason i could not connect the ceilings to the to the sloped roofs i'm not sure why but i kind of got it played around a little bit and got this working just kind of looks a little janky on that end i might put something on this to kind of balance it out but this is it somewhat of a temporary base after all just because all right, let's go into here. Let's see what we got here. Glass buoy. Hmm. Okay, do you got some chitin? Let's kind of look at these ones. What's that one? Let's take a look at that one. Oh. oh, I need more chitin. Oh, I didn't want to go over there. Gonna have to go hunting for some more of the bugs. Okay, that's kind of neat. Hmm. Aha. Hmm. Okay. I like that. That's neat. What else we got in here? Let's see, okay, we can make some of these. Hmm. Here we go, wall candle. Let's do that. I think that 
kind of liven the place up a little bit in here. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Let's put one about there. Pull for another one. Where'd that go? Right there. Okay, we'll add another one of those. I think some of these I don't have all the materials for. Yeah, these ones we'll need probably for me to do a bit more planning. Don't have electronics yet. Fire. Hmm. Those would be good from. I think those would add probably a good amount of lighting. Make sure. Pull for two. <clears throat> There's a couple of guns that go with this too. Sequencer tool. Work light. There's so many different options to choose from. I got. I got a kick out of these. <clears throat> I kind of want to make one of these. Let's make the moon one. I think that'd be funny to make. Let's see this. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Little moon wand light. Okay. Nope. Let's get out of that mode. Where? Oh, those are tiny. Okay. okay. Oh, am I too far away? Let's put it right on that. Hmm. Okay. That one. There we go. And let's put that other light here. Just gonna balance it out here. Like that. They're about pretty much the same height. That one's a little higher. Not by much. Not bad. Now the problem. Aha. And jump high enough to turn it on that's all that matters there we go nice now we just have to see how much that actually works in the night time I'm gonna put some storage and stuff in here and the reason why this is gonna be somewhat of a more like it's gonna be a temporary starter base but more of a permanent area for the for the duration is this bay here the entire time that I've been on there has been nothing that spawns here and with having arc additions and animals of atlas right in here I have not seen a single water creature so this would be a perfect spot to have if we want to do like water pens for breeding and stuff I figured that'd be perfect if we hop back on the iguanodon because it can swim pretty good because even if we go just a little ways then it'll have some stuff there so like i even have the the amount of creatures turned up a bit so we should should have seen something by now but it's not until we get out past this ridge that we start to see stuff so this is going to be a good spot to have some creatures like there's some angler fish is nice and close didn't even notice that before megalodon yeah see there's lots down in that area so right here seems to be a nice safe spot and we got oil and everything right here and that's where i've been getting some of my oil i'll come down and get this rock every so often <clears throat> so we can do a bit of planning and the other reason is 
we do just like a, once we get more materials and everything, we can do an elevator on the other side, just to make it easier. Because right down here, I, since I realized what the those gold rocks are good for, since I didn't get any off the one I was breaking when I had the regular stone pickaxe, right down here, underneath this guy, is a bunch of gold rocks. And just from these ones, with a ordinary metal pickaxe, I get almost 2,000 metal, and probably about almost 400 of the raw gold, which we can use to smelt just like the raw metal for the metal ingots. And this way, since a lot of the dwarven stuff uses the raw metal instead of the metal ingots, we can use the pure gold for the metal stuff and smelt the raw metal of the metal scraps when we need it kind of thing which is quite handy so if we put an elevator over here kind of kind of deal it'll be easy when we get an anki just to slowly putz its way over and ride up it these these trikes keep getting stuck under here Little 60 that's a 174 trick. Regular one. Still be handy to have. I want a 180. The S one though. But that'll be a little while down as we get more stuff. And start making kibble. Which hopefully will be soon. I want to do that probably once we get a better area. This is a lot of, a lot of space we could temp potentially use but I want something further in, especially since we have the teleporters. When I have the materials, I'll have a teleporter set up here. Oh, I didn't want to jump off. <clears throat> yeah, we need something out here. If anything, these help for just basic decorations. Um, I'm gonna get more. Gotta get more kite and some more of these skull ones. So I think they all take kite and yeah. Um, takes crystal. Let's do two of those. Do I got enough? I am short on wood. Of course I am. It's kind of pop down like that. Oh, all right, there we go. Hopefully, in this map, we'll have better luck finding a decent leveled castroid than on my single player. Which I gotta get back onto here soon. I haven't played on there in a little while. So let's put that in there for now. Okay, we wanted two of these ones. There we go. I think those will look look alright outside here. There we go. Now Let's put them right about there. Would that be? Let's put it there. Nope, that is way too janky. That's not what I wanted. I gotta put this thing in my hotbar. Let's get rid of the club. Need to go higher. Let's try. Does that look better? Ah, it looks way better. And there we go.
You're in the way. That looks a bit better. Do some more decor later. Now, I, got, I think I got some of my stuff in here. All the different blocks I was playing around with. Be using them later on. No, there's nothing in that. No, everything's in here. There we go. But yeah, there's my dwarven smithy or refining forge. I put these down. So for the raw gold, you actually need the dwarven right. Ref can't talk. You need the dwarven refining forge. So far, because I tried doing the gold in the other one or in the regular one and it wouldn't smelt it's not sticking out which is good yeah didn't stick out at all perfect so um yeah like i was saying with the regular forge none of the stuff would stick or would none of the raw gold would cook in it so i had to you make that one for the raw gold which it works out anyways yeah. let's do, redo that I don't want it sticking out too far but there we go that's better let me get, move all the raw gold here Ooh. Pull a hundred. I can't pull the raw gold for this one. Yeah. No. There we go. Okay. Get all that going back in here. After two at a time. That one. There we go. There. And it smelts just the way the metal does, using two at a time. So it'll be handy. So far, I haven't seen any recipes that use just the raw gold. Or pure gold, I guess. Yeah, pure gold ore. So we'll see if there's something else beyond that. But either way, it's still handy for an extra source of, of metal. Or metal ingots. Yeah, see here. Yeah. He uses two just like the raw metal does. Which is alright. So get that going. But still waiting on some of the guys to come on. I know Captain Kai came on, did a quick little stream, which was awesome. He had a bit of struggles to start out with, so we're hopefully gonna meet up with him later on hopefully for the next video and hopefully with our other new member to join soon we'll have him on and we'll have a bit of fun with those chickens might have to breed some up so there's enough for each of us to ride them so this is going to be hilarious spent a bit of time getting this one going so we're going to end her here today if you guys like the video be sure to leave a like and a comment and be sure to subscribe to see future content from me and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.